Hi, everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We are so happy you are here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Today's big idea comes from David Sinclair and his revolutionary book, Lifespan. The book has the subtitle, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To, and takes us to the front lines of the cutting-edge research on aging, done by David Sinclair and his team, work that investigates how we can slow down or even reverse aging. At once, a roadmap for taking charge of our own health destiny and a bold new vision for the future of humankind, lifespan will forever change the way we think about aging. Through a page-turning narrative, Dr. Sinclair invites us into the process of scientific discovery and reveals the emerging technologies and simple lifestyle changes that can help us live longer and stay healthier. In a second, we will walk you through the highlights from the book, but first, a small disclaimer. See, Lifespan is a book filled with complicated science and complex biological terms. As this is a bullion cube summary, we will only be touching the surface of these concepts. We therefore, as always, encourage you to read the full book. Let's dig in. Highlight number one, we all have to die at some point. A key point in lifespan is that we must stop blindly accepting aging as an undisputable process where the quality of our lives and our physical comfort slowly but surely diminishes as we grow older. Instead, Sinclair suggests that we start viewing aging as a treatable disease and ask questions like, why do we age? How is aging affecting the body? And what can we do to improve the quality of our lives as we age? In a nutshell, Sinclair argues that even though we must all die at some point, it is possible to not only live longer, but better, all the way to the end. Number two, happy and healthy, all the way. Even though modern medicine can extend our lives far longer than it could a century ago, we are still a long way from discovering the path to a qualitative old age. A lot of medicine comes with severe side effects, and sometimes the treatment for one disease even makes us more vulnerable to other diseases. When people are asked if they want to live to 100 years of age, most people say, no, thank you. However, when the question is rephrased to offer 100 years of perfect health, the majority of responses change to yes. The good news is that scientists worldwide are well on their way to discover medicine and technology that can delay, rewind, or even reverse the aging process. Amazing stuff, but unfortunately, for now, not all something available to the broader public Luckily, Lifespan also introduces us to several straightforward lifestyle changes that can improve our lifespans and quality of life. Here is a quick list of things you can start doing already today. 1. Reduce your daily calorie intake without causing malnutrition. 2. Practice intermittent fasting. 3. Limit your consumption of animal-based foods. 4. Exercise frequently, particularly through high-intensive interval training. Five, and finally, expose your body to cold temperatures regularly. Number three, ethics, morals, and critical questions. As promising as the research on aging is, all these possibilities also present ethical questions. Ponder this. If medical technologies to extend lifespans become widely available, will people be forced to use them? And who will pay the hospital bills should you choose to age naturally? And what about the environmental considerations? Over 7 billion people already populate the planet, consuming resources and generating enormous waste. Is it even ethical to be tweaking ourselves to increase longevity? With so many modalities of prolonging life and development, the time to wrestle with these and other ethical questions is now. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And there you have it, Lifespan by David Sinclair in a nutshell.
We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.